Why the heck is this skeleton painted red and blue? This is an explanatory skeleton prepared by the educational supply company Carolina Biological Supply in 1984. And this paint job wasn't done to make the skeleton look prettier, it actually serves an anatomical purpose. So let's take a look at a couple. Areas painted in red mark the muscle's origin to fix attachment point where movement begins, typically on a stable bone or central structure. The blue indicates insertion point where the muscle attaches to a more movable bone. When the muscle contracts, it pulls from the origin towards the insertion, creating movement along joints. For example, the pectoralis major originates along the clavicle and sternum shown in red and inserts into the humerus shown in blue, demonstrating how it draws the arm across the body in adduction and flexion. Similarly, the masseter and temporalis muscles, which originate on the zygomatic arch and temporal fossa, and insert into the mandible show how the jaw closes during chewing. This visual mapping showcases the direction of muscle movement directly on the bone. On a real human skeleton, it allows students to visualize just how much muscles correspond to various surface textures of the bone, such as ridges and fossae, something that plastic skeletons often fail to replicate accurately. Now remember, learning the skeletal system is just a stepping stone for a lot of students into learning all of the other structures of the human body, such as the muscular system, lymphatic system, nervous system, so educational models like this one adapted to help students fulfill this need. And since this is a real human skeleton, here's a couple fun features you typically wouldn't see in a plastic cast. For example, this individual had a bifurcated rib, which is incredibly rare. The coccyx is not only fully fused, but it's also fused on crooked. And the L4 and 5 are fused together. That was a little bit more about this medical skeleton. If you're an anatomy student and you're struggling to learn your muscle attachments, make sure to come to the Bow Museum and we'll help you out.